Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Mont Fallout New Vegas. Juju apparently has something to say to us. Log, playback, continue. I bought DuraFrame Subject E as both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was cancelled and all DuraFrame assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. Playback, continue. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Yeah, basically, ED, uh, Juju, uh, has some hidden stuff, and logs get activated when you say various, when people say various code words, so, yeah. Enclave is one of them. The Enclave is, uh... Oh, God. I don't want to explain it. No, no, I won't explain it. It's like a, it's, it's a huge spoiler of Fallout 2. I'll, I'll tell you guys about it later, because, yeah, we'll see. What can I help you with? Why are you here? I was sent here when we saw that the NCR had taken it. We have no record of the facility, but its original builders were cause for concern. I'm to determine the threat level of this place and do everything in my power to prevent the revival of any dangerous pre-war technology. The NCR let me stay because they are desperate for answers about this place, but I've kept them in the dark. The NCR doesn't know about the weapon? Not yet. By some miracle, they've hired an imbecile to try and decipher the systems here. He spent months working at one console trying to get the solar reflectors to track the sun. What he doesn't know is that the only thing the console controls is the plant's intercom system. I tried to tell him, but he insisted that the largest console had to be the most important. Still, it's only a matter of time. Huh. Interesting. Tell me more about the followers of the apocalypse. Humanity lost many things after the war. Methods of agriculture, techniques for survival. We took it upon ourselves to piece together this knowledge and bring it back to them. Go on. Other things weren't lost, but were blocked from our collective memory. Knowledge of what we're capable of and how things spiral out of control. It's in our nature to want to forget truths that keep us awake at night. And for that reason, it's all the more important that the followers walk the ways to remind people of them. Huh. Do the followers work together with the NCR? We did for a time, but our goals differ. The NCR only cares to expand their wealth and their reach. For us, territory boundaries mean nothing. And prosperity has to be for everyone, not just citizens of the NCR. So parting was inevitable. While the NCR pushes east, we clean up the mess they leave behind. Try to provide some stability. Where are the followers based around here? We're scattered mostly. We go where we're needed. Our largest presence is in Freeside at Old Mormon Fort. Other than that, I know Dr. Usanagi set up a practice near the Crimson Caravan, and a man we trained is operating out of the Aerotech building. Another man, Tom Anderson, was looking into water supply problems in Westside, but that was a while ago. Goodbye. Goodbye. Interesting. Very interesting. And I'm going to talk about the Enclave, why not? Uh, basically, the Enclave are the remnants of the U.S. military. Uh, in a way. What they really are is something pre-war. Basically a shadow organization that controlled everything, and actually, they were, uh, hey, Nazis, <laughs> is the best way to put it, supremacists that uh, believe that in order to make their perfect world, they first had to destroy this one, so they coaxed the, the world into nuclear war, and, uh, yeah, and they started the vault project, the, the vaults, uh, which we haven't really touched on too much. Yeah, the, the vaults, the, the vaults, they say they're, they're shelters, but when you really, really analyze it, you'll see that none of the vaults were really designed to help anyone. They were designed as social experiments to test, to test things and gather data uh, on on people. 
some some vaults had only men uh or very weird gender ratios like one man to every thousand women or stuff like that one man one vault was filled with 20 men 10 women and one panther sometimes it's like the movie saw there are a few control vaults but we'll see uh, as we start to explore the vaults after a while but uh, if the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. Basically, uh... Who knows which side the Legion's gonna hit us from next? Ugh, we there yet? They, they, the, the vaults weren't designed to save anybody. They really had their own secret, uh, place of... Secret, uh... Place, um... In a oil rig off the... Off the west coast. And after a while, they just sort of decided to go about their plan. They were going to try to use a strain of, well, they were trying to kill a whole bunch of people. And the NCR, Brothers of Steel, and your character from Fallout 2 kicked the crap out of them in various fronts. But it was mostly your character that nuked their base. And, yeah, there was a whole Enclave NCR war. Crazy stuff. Can I not pick this up? Find an inversion coil, okay. First find that inversion coil. But anyway, basically, yeah, they were the guys who started all this. They instigated the war. Which is really cool. <laughs> and uh, many, too many people are like these pro-enclave guys, which is something that started with Fallout 3, because Fallout 3 just didn't paint them in the appropriately light. They're... The they're the big evil guys, okay? They're the guys who start, who, who did the, they did all this. So yeah. Uh, and and many of the energy weapons uh, actually come from Enclave manufacturers. Uh, at the time. And, uh, yeah, there, there's a few... And this was many years ago, so any survivors of the war are probably really old by now. We'll see. Ah, that's what the... Crap. Everyone! Oh, God! Ow. You know what? I got a new idea. Okay, where's the dynamite? I got some sort of explosive here. Alright, this will do. Alright, clear out. Did it work? Okay. Sometimes it's easier to just blow up mines and traps. Alright, Archimedes testing. Okay, so basically they're testing and no one can be outside. 
And there's death and dismemberment waivers, and protective eyewear is mandatory for all technicians observing from the tower deck. Okay. Upcoming visit. Okay, so apparently some general is coming by to oversee the test. They're just telling them, look good for this guy. keeps dogs from attacking us, right. Oh. <laughs> now I feel bad. Can I like load a, a save? Oh, okay. Reset the main frame connection. Alright. Alright, so apparently we gotta go back inside the we gotta go into the tower now. Those are some pretty mangy dogs, by the way. I'll leave it. That's for another quest entirely, so Shit, we got Taurus. Here, Six, use this. I swiped it off that jerk with the orange hair. <laughs> uh, we're gonna die. Have some of this. Ah, what? Oh, open the freaking door! Very careful disarming this stuff. I actually could have. I was trying to get in here so we could hack this terminal. Oh, I don't have enough science skill. Well, if we could, uh, we could turn those turrets off. And we wouldn't freaking blow up. Well, we wouldn't get hmm, shot. Got something good for me? Is it a dress? Uh. I'm full of lead, and I'm surprised I didn't die from that. Again, that's what the... all that... you know... I'm gonna try pretty soon. I'm gonna... Oh, I have to go. Check out what I found. 